Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's Alpha King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Today I wanted to bring you another insight on NBA 2K12. Actually, I wanted to combine post game and defense because of the simple fact that controls is next. <laughs> Now, I've been waiting for the NBA 2K12 demo since last night. Now, we as PS3 users won't be getting the demo until maybe 9 o'clock tonight. While Xbox fans and elites, they have it at 5 a.m. Now, PS3, y'all need to get y'all shit together. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stick with y'all for 2K12, but listen, when 2K13 come out, if y'all ain't up to par... I'm going to have to slap wrist on this one. <laughs> now let me get into the video. Basically, the post game has been redefined, as they say. Basically, they say they changed the mechanics. Um, you have 360 degree movement, which means instead of having to go straight down in the chest of your defender, you're able to go right or left, which means it'll give you more options and space to create your own shots. Now they carry some of the moves from 2K11 but they have added a few like when you're driving the drive key to the basket you, since you're going left to right you're able to either pull up for a hook or a fade or you know you even may be able to go around the slow defender. They also have added spins to it you know if you're driving and you spin. Um, the face up last year was a little bit you know kosher but they have an inside face up and outside face up which means you can be either inside the paint like Kevin Garnett and you know with your back to the basket or you can have the dude in the post and then pop out for the for the face up you know for the pass somebody like Carmelo or something like that now um, they have dribble disengages this year which means um, your player turns 180 degrees to face the basket while maintaining the dribble right now you can do a step back or you know a fade whatever you choose you know something like Paul Pierce did in the Clippers versus Boston Celtics uh, gameplay that everybody has seen. Now they also bring the aggressive back down, which means you know if you guys close to the uh, to the the circle in the paint and you think that you can just muscle them in like somebody like Shaq going against Alonzo, then you're able to do that this year. Also, um, they have clutch moves. Somebody like Dirk, you know, if you want to do fake size ups, shimmies, you know, stuff like that. They they did bring those moves back to. 2k12 but they perfected them now they also said that they upgraded the post shots which means you know you know if you only seen way kobe lebron you know you have more options and it's more animations that can be done um also you of course you know i said hooks fades hop steps step back shots drop step layups and dunks and if you don't know what a drop step is you get the ball and you take a hard drop step to the rim and of course you know the the, up, the upper under which wasn't used much in nba 2k 11 i think it's going to be boss this year um also the post defense they um they gave it what is it three different you know aspects where you can do you can anticipate you can counter you can steal now anticipating is anticipating what your um your offensive player will do now you can deny position because sometimes some people think that the post plays are too cheese but you can actually anticipate what they do um the counter is you can counter on what your player is doing like say your player is doing an aggressive back down all game you can take the chair from up under him <laughs> real talk um also they brought back the steal again this year but they say that they have changed it and you know not perfected it but you know if you see that you can steal a post entry pass then you can now let's move on to the entire defense for nba 2k12 all right here they say that they have i say a whole new layout um basically you have new movement controls you they have shuffle speed now you can regular move with l stick um l2 plus uh the left analog stick for intense defense of course and they brung a uh, fast shuffle movement so instead of just having a run like like a full sprint you're able to shuffle back and forth now also they have the right stick defense which is totally changed this year it said that they're only going to give us two functions which is hands up and deny ball you won't be calling for a charge when you hit the analog stick nowadays because i know it was a big problem in 2k11 you sit up there and get called for bad pick and i mean bad um charge take charge and all that it was a big hassle but they said they've changed it also they said that the deny ball 
gives you the opportunity to you know take a, a star out of the game as you can say and they said that they have changed the steal mechanics as well like you know you used to steal the ball you, you used to go into like a direction like out of bounds or baseline they said whatever direction your player is moving that direction he will go for the ball also they said that if you are in front of a defender and you try to steal the ball and the ball is on the right hand side of that person they, your hand will actually go to the right so if he's crossing over to the left and you and he gets you that's not my problem <laughs> also they said they they bring back the box out but the way it's going to go is when you press down the box out button you will automatically go in a box out animation so whoever comes up to you will be boxed out also they say that they have upgraded the defensive strategy and settings and all of that you have screen defense you have hedge defense you know you can do auto go over go under or switch and they also have the hedge where it's auto no hedge soft and hard hedge now what the hedge is is basically off ball defense and all of that and screen defense goes to like on ball defense and everything like that now another thing is they got user controlled defenders you know a lot of people last year hated guarding a person that had the ball in their hand hands down people just don't want to defend now me being a crew member I had to do it all the time so I'm used to defending people and having to stop people you know having to stop somebody from dropping 40 on me because they're 6'9 and I'm 6'5 so um, also they have shooter vulnerability and strips now during the game you might you know get a couple shots and you want to balance out the game by people doing spin dunks and hop steps and all of that and they were doing a lot of cheese moves so nowadays they have it whereas though if that person isn't great at dribbling they can be stripped they can uh i say get get different type of animations whereas though they won't be able to get easy buckets you know like mid-air collisions and all of that also um when i seen the demo i mean not the demo but the gameplay of boston vs Celtics, i noticed that when a person got a block, instead of it counting as a steal and a turnover, it actually counted as a block. So hopefully they change that as well. Um, also, they got hard fouls and rat fouls. Now, hard fouls, of course, is trying to send a dude to the floor. And, of course, you know a rat foul is if you just want to stop somebody from going in. <laughs> Real talk. Also, they have different defender reactions. So for a 2K12, you know, jab steps and all of that, they have different reactions that you can do. Now, I hope you guys enjoy chilling out with me, you know, learning a little bit more about 2K12 if you haven't heard. Um, this is IKC signing out. Also, tonight, I will be playing the demo, which means I will be having a lot of different gameplay. I know it's only one quarter I've already heard from the Xbox Grapevine, but I will have about three videos on the game. I will have a live com, a review, and my first impressions. All right, you guys. I'm out of here. Peace.